All right. Hi, everyone. Let's hope this is kind of okay. Um, I had an issue with my uh, tripod arm thing that I used to film the, um, like, what's in my pencil case video. This, this one. Um, so I am trying from my phone now, and I'm not a cool person, and I don't have the phone hookup. I'm probably going to get one, too. Also, uh, I have a bad nail job. My nails broke recently, so whatever. We're going to deal with it. If the audio um, isn't complete trash, I'm going to use it just from my phone. But if it's really bad, I'll go over it with um, OBS, and I'll talk about that in the beginning. So I will do my best to talk about it through there. Um, there are certain parts where I am going to have to like hold the camera and move it over. So I'm sorry it's not going to be completely stationary. But... I literally have it stacked on a bunch of books and some candles right now because I had to improvise. <laughs> I also didn't want to spend money on something I'm only going to use once as of right now. So we are going to do a flip through of my Inktober sketchbook. This is not where the start. Well, sketchbook. This is the whole sketchbook. Before anybody asks, this is a Maya Kern sketchbook. Um, I bought it off of her website. Uh, she is a, a um, an amazing artist. I love her stuff. She does like clothes and other things too. I think she stopped doing the sketchbooks, but it's whatever it is. The paper's really thin, hence why it bled through a lot. But uh, let's get started. So the first page, and one of the few ones where you're going to actually see it on this side for this, is actually how this whole thing started. So I wasn't originally going to do Inktober, but I was really inspired to work in my sketchbook again. And so one day, I think I was having D&D, &D, maybe not, I don't remember, I have a lot of D&D &D right now, but I recently got into Toilet Bound Hanukkah-kun, and I'm probably pronouncing it terribly because uh, my pronunciation and things are awful, but um, this is how it all started, so I was like, oh, okay, I really liked it, and I messed up, so I used the sticky note. Uh, the other ones don't have the sticky note, I just kind of went, well, if I messed up, whatever, but yeah, this is the first one, so it's Hanako kun from Toilet Bound Hanako. And then where we have to start moving over, here we have, sorry again for the shaky camera, I will do my best. Uh, this is day one and day two, where it's uh, Nathan Graves from Castlevania, the Advanced Collection, because I never played the Advanced games. And if you guys didn't know anything about me, I love Castlevania games. So he's the main protagonist in Circle of the Moon, and... I drew this after I had to grind for an optional boss to get a thing, to get another thing, to get through the main part of the story. And boy howdy, was it a lot of work. <laughs> and so I really like this chibi I did. And so then I moved to try to draw him again in my style because I really like the hair here. And so I decided to do it there. I also tried to work with the shading that's in his official artwork. But um, not very proud of it. I want to draw them again. It's not that it's bad. I just, I want more, like, room. Because I just sectioned it off for these two parts. So then we have Chris. Because me and my friends played through Deltarune Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 on my Twitch recently. There is a lot of Deltarune brain rot in here. So just be prepared for that. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, this is one of the few ones where the uh, background was actually with ink. It was with my brush pen. It was not with um, the markers that I used, which I mostly used these, these Ahuhu markers and these colors. Um, whatever I didn't use, I used a Sharpie for, so there's, there's that. And then a white jelly roll or a Posca pen for the whites. So we have Chris. We have, I really, really like this one of um, Ralsei. I personally like his like shadowed form more. I kind of hope we see it more in the in the next chapters, but I wanted to draw him. Very cute. Uh, here's a sandwich because I literally didn't know what to draw next. And my friends were like, oh, why don't you draw a sandwich? And I'm like, you know what? All right. So here's the three tier sandwich. And then we have some Spampton, kind of self-explanatory. Some Noel. Uh, this is... The little character I had, hold on, let me see if I can find it at the start, where I had the notes for this character, I was still figuring her out. Here was the final, the final image. Um, I believe I should have the speed paint up soon, if I did do a speed paint up, I don't remember, but I think I, I did, so. If I did, it is up, I know it's already up on TikTok, but 
I was working on the idea for the character and I was thinking, oops, sorry. And I was thinking, you know what? Let's make her thicker. I like the idea, not for this character though. So I'm going to make a couple more and see where um, I go with it because I like ditched the skirt completely for the idea originally. So now here's the fun part where I <laughs> did my Patreon rewards this month for uh, my other patrons. Oops, sorry for my feet. Um, but yeah, so uh, the next couple are Patreon rewards. So this is for Sky 2 or Letters of Sky, Gun Mooney. It was not supposed to be that their characters were like interacting because I had them pick the expressions. There was a line down the middle, but it ended up working out. And now they're a couple. So like I somehow made them a couple and uh, Gun Mooney has even drawn art of the two of them. So really fun. And then this one's for Blue Tashi. This one's for uh, Sticks AR. This one's for Peeth, and then this is just a smiley face, so Mr. Smiley. I need much more practice with his side view for my DV, but I had fun. I just, again, need more practice because he's my my good boy. He's my main hunter, so. Yeah. And then we have a gift for my friend Lana of her Pokemon trainer character. We have Rolls card. We have Metaton because, uh, come on, you, you, you have to have them together. Um, I really want to replay Undertale since I ended up playing through Delta Rune, and I love Undertale. If you guys didn't know, uh, his theme from Undertale was actually the song I walked down the aisle to because of how much it means to me and Cody. So next we have a couple more days split up. I have Cleo, and this is actually really important for what you're going to see throughout the rest of the Inktober sketchbook. So I have Cleo listening to like one of those little cup phones being like, oh, what? And then this is my... Um, D, D character Dren. I just need a page filler. And then we have a flowey and see this is so you're gonna now see this for the rest of it of um because I saw this idea in another person's sketchbook I thought was really cute of the connecting line. So you're gonna see that now for like the rest of them in the background. So we have a flowey. We have more side view stuff. We have an espresso cookie, my first attempt at drawing espresso cookie. If you're caught up with what we do in the shadows, you will know why I drew a broken-hearted Guillermo. And I'm not okay about it. But, duh. <laughs> and then, like the sandwich, um, I didn't know what to put for this page. So I just doodled a planchette. It was originally going to be a person. Didn't like it. So I just did a planchette. And then we have a Bellatrix for my friend um, Empress Kaiju. She, just, she posted up his, like, headshot chibi for his uh toy house and i really like the like little bust outfit he was in so i wanted to draw that mostly so we have bellatrix we have um i believe this is b it is otaku pup on instagram's uh insect character i really liked his design and like all of uh, otaku pups insect guys and then we have a gift here for my friend bezzy k she like normally draws some one of my characters doing her inktober stuff like multiple years and even in one of my weddings so really wanted to draw mizzy for bezzy k so that's mizzy holding one of her little babies and then here's something where i wanted to try something new uh what i ended up doing here was i ended up looking up the uh, sheet lyrics for cyber world because like i said delta rune brain rot but i love this song <laughs> And so I tried, like, doing something, like, interesting with it and writing and messing with the inks. I like the concept. I don't really like this, but I do like the concept, and I think I'll do it more. But I've also never written, like, sheet music out, so I probably messed it up. Or people who are actual musicians are like, it's so off, and it, it, I'm, no, I'm sorry. But I had fun. I had a blast. And so next one is... Um, also, a rule I had for these was I told myself I will not spend more than an hour per page. It was pretty much the only way I was going to be guaranteed to get them all done in time. So this was actually a Castlevania Circle of the Moon um, level study. I sketched out more of the background, but it was taking too long. So I just left it as is. I want to do a full like level study in the future because I love Metroidvania like styled games. They're one of my favorites. And so I really like how I got the brick leveling here, though, with my inking style. So it was that. And then uh, me and Star Heavenly, well, Star Heavenly has been in that way for a while. Sawyer got me on the Chucky Brain Rot, and we're watching the 
TV series together, and we also, the other day, ended up watching Child's Play 2 and um, Colt, because I'd never seen Child's Play 2 or Colt, and so drew a little Tiffany. And then, oh my gosh, we're done! See, it's the car, it's the little thing going up. We have Bones and Spoopy, uh, you know, smiling, holding like a thing, of, well, it was supposed to be candy, but, you know, whatever. And they're like, yeah, they're, so pretty much the implication is they're yelling at Cleo because I thought it was funny since they're the two that don't have mouths. Well, Spoopy is an eye mouth, but you know what I mean. They can't like talk normally like, like Cleo can. So they're just wishing her a happy Halloween. And yeah, so that is my Inktober. I finally finished an Inkt, uh, hello, thank you, traffic. I finally finished an Inktober for the first time in my life. I've always given up Inktober, Drawtober, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have fully destroyed this yellow, which is fine. I have more, but I had so much fun. I'm so happy. I finally finished one of these challenges, like that are like one of those, like, you know, draw one and I finished it early. So I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. I hope you guys are enjoying Artoween. Um, I only have like this many pages left and I've been kind of eating through this thing. So I might have a sketchbook tour at the end of October if not, it's really likely going to be early November. And I'll have the tripod issue fixed so it's not too shaky. Again, I hope it's not too bad. But yes, thank you guys for being here, for watching. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying Artoween. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks as always. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.